Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. It's a pleasure to be here with you. So thank you very much, JC. Thank you very much, Gladys, for being here. So how was your weekend? Hi, good evening. Good evening. I was working the whole weekend. Ah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But, unfortunately. But uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, have a work. <laughs> yeah, luckily. Luckily. Luckily, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, luckily you have a, a, a job and that's not something very important, right? Without a job, things are very, very, very difficult. Okay, so um, yeah. guys, um, what about, what do you remember about last class, which was on Friday? I don't know because I don't stay staying in class last Friday. Okay, and uh, what about you, Gladys? What do you remember? Mm. <laughs> I don't remember very well. <laughs> okay. Ah, yes, we were talking about the... <laughs> Uh -huh. Let me do it. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, no, have a review. Uh, ah, the yeah. old, uh, uh, old course. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. We had a review about the curse so far. And um, I wanted to say this to more people, but thank you very much for um working on the platform most of you have actually done it and you have actually gone a long path so thank you the big majority of the students completed the completed the test i just have like one or two that are still working on it but thank you thank you for that hey marcela how's it going okay I'm doing great, ready to start. So, my dear fellows, we have a very packed day. We have a very busy day today. And um, we just have to start, right? Today we start a new unit. Hello, Beatriz, Adriana. Thank you very much for being here. Today we have a new unit. And I'm going to give a couple of minutes for people. Hey, Alison, thank you very much. <laughs> So, while we wait for the rest of the people to come, let me see about the people that I have here. Okay, Beatriz. Most of you have actually done your, your tests. Yep, everybody have. Hey, Eric. Thank you very much for being here. Hey, hello. Okay, so I consider I have enough people. Thank you very much for being on time. Let's get it started. So go ahead and repeat with me. I know that you cannot see that this is why I do it. So please repeat. I will be able to. I will be able to. Outline the basics of digital marketing. I like the basics of digital marketing. Come on, re repeat what you think you hear. Don't worry about being right or being wrong. Just repeat. Outline the basics of digital I marketing. I like the basic basis on digital marketing. Okay, I need a volunteer <laughs> to repeat it, please. Uh, me, but can you can you repeat it, Pierce? Yeah, sure. Please. I will be able to outline the basics of digital marketing. I will be able to outline the basics of digital marketing. There you go, Gladys. Excellent. So this is a way that you could practice, guys. Your listening skills are very important. Now, all of you can see it. Here it is. So, everybody, now that you can see it, please, 
I will be able to. I will be able to. Outline the basics of digital marketing. Outline the basics of digital marketing. Good. What are some common examples of the digital advertising? What are some common examples of digital advertising? Has digital marketing changed since the 90s? Have digital marketing changed in the 90s? Great. So, what are some common examples, guys, of digital advertising? Well, first of all, what is digital advertising? What do you think it is? Advertising so, online. Advertising online, an easy way of, of describing it. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, in simple words, right? Digital advertising. Now, is, for example, advertising on the newspaper digital? No, on the yeah. paper, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't think so. Okay, let's go ahead and read a little bit, and this is something I got for you guys. Digital advertising meaning. If you don't know what something is, Google is your best uh, friend. <laughs> And remember, there are a lot of things. You don't have to stick with the first definition. You can research more. So read with me, please. Digital, digital advertising is digital. the practice of digital. delivering digital. promotional content to users through various online and digital channels. Todo eso, démosle, go. Digital advertising. Good. I need a volunteer to read that, please. Me, Alison. Go ahead, Alison. Digital advertising is the practice of delivering promotional content to users through various online and digital channels. There you go. I like it. Here, what we can fix is content. The stress is in the O. Say it with me. Content. 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 Good. It, content. it leverages mediums such as social media, email, search engines, mobile apps, affiliate programs, and websites to show advertisements and messages to audiences. Okay, I need a volunteer to read it alone, please. Me, Morena. Go ahead, More. It leverage medium such as social media, email, search engines, mm -hmm. uh, mobile apps, affiliate programs, and website to show advertisements and messages to audiences. Okay, great. I actually like your plurals. Now, any new vocabulary here? Leverage. Leverage. Leverage is... Um, leverage. Is, for example, hold, for example, it holds mediums, like contains, in this case. Affiliate. Affiliate programs. Um, <laughs> IFPs are an affiliate program. You're mm -hmm. affiliated to them. Hmm. Now, another definition of leverage is like an advantage. Like a little advantage, una pequeña ventaja. All right, so guys, what is the definition of digital advertising then? Do we still consider that is advertising online? Repeat, please. Do you still consider that is the definition could be advertising online? Yeah. Yep, that's right. Do me a favor. Give me examples of social media, please. Social media, Instagram. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Twitter. 
Whatsapp. Whatsapp. Uh, Disney One, TikTok. Uh, uh -huh, TikTok. YouTube. YouTube. And, mo and more and more and more. Snapchat is another one, correct? What about emails? Email. Yes. Email. Gmail. It's a uh, digital channel. Uh huh. So we got Yahoo. What else do we have? We got Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook, Hotmail, Outlook, etc. What about search engines? You know what that is? Yeah, it's uh. It's uh. A software to find out, find mm -hmm. something in the inner internet. On the internet, very good. Like On the internet. Google. Firefox, Bing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Páginas de busca, the, the ones that you're mentioning. Um, uh, mobile apps. I think that this is uh, too wide. We won't be. Uh, we won't stop today. So mobile apps, we have about everything. Affiliate programs. Can you mention a few? I have to confía. Ah yes. What about that? That's that's a bad example that I gave. You know, we got bad yeah. memories from that. So, is there any online affiliate program that you know? No. No. Glass Corporativo could be one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I haven't thought about it, but yes, that this is an affiliate program. That's right. You are enrolled. All right. Very good. So now that we're here, guys, I really hope that we all have it clear. Let me go back to the, to the screen. What are some common examples of digital advertising? How do you receive advertisement from companies? Yes. When you are online, how? Sometimes they just pop up on your on on the on your screen. Yes. While doing what? Um, when you go to a website and uh -huh. uh, I don't know you you can do you can be be not doing nothing and the advertising just appears. All right, so they appear on websites, for example. Mm -hmm. yeah. Social media, too. Yeah. Social media, like what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Instagram. Okay, like uh -huh. Facebook, that you can actually pay Facebook. You do. Oh my God. Don't even talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Espera, ¿estás estudiando inglés? All right, so I don't know if you have, if you have heard that one. So, yes. If, if, if you don't, for example, then. the apps mobile, mobile apps, mobile apps. That's right. And uh, it's the same uh, um, sponsored and about advertising. About. It's the same as and sponsored, but when you uh, searching on Facebook. Is I watch the the word for sponsor sponsored like this. Sponsored. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's the same word meaning or I know. Sponsored. Who can give a definition of a sponsor, guys? Like um, that pays you to make. Advertisers of the their products that they sell. You have an idea. You have an idea. Like Are you the, the influencers too? I don't know. Yeah, kind of. Do you guys like racing, or is anybody aware of racing worldwide? F1, MotoGP, no. 
choose the race from yeah. my home to work. <laughs> okay, so pretty much a sponsor is that somebody is paying you for advertising. Sponsored by. Like the, the influencers? Like influencers, exactly. They are sponsored. They receive some sort of money in order for them to give publicity. The example I was giving you in uh, car racing, normally they have Diana on the door or on the hood. There was a mm -hmm. famous car sponsored by Diana. Or you have uh, Red Bull. Did yeah. you ever see the Red Bull Mini Coopers? Oh, yeah. I no? no, only airplanes. <laughs> or planes. Have you ever seen a, a, an athlete, like, for example, Messi in Adidas? Yeah. Messi is sponsored by Adidas. They mm. are taking advantage of Messi's image for advertising. Okay. I don't know if I'm answering your question. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, it's like um, patrocinador. Patrocinador por, that's mm -hmm. right. Yes, I understand. All right, very good. So guys, has digital marketing changed since the 90s? Some of you are young and are young for not knowing, but some of you are old enough to know. What do you think? Has digital marketing changed since the 90s? Yes. 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 How and why? Yes, a lot. Because <laughs> in the 90s, only advertising, for example, it's through the TV, in TV shows, mm -hmm. uh, newspaper. Newspaper. The digital world it's not uh, it's not common or not accessible 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 uh the 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 many people mm -hmm. and right now it's completely different correct now how do you say that you can pay for it what is the word afford afford affordable, affordable. It is affordable. That means that people can pay it. Now, let me ask you something. Can you afford a Ferrari? No. Yes, of course. Well, no. it's affordable. A I cannot. Ferrari or... I cannot afford or a Ferrari. I cannot afford the Ferrari. I don't want it anyways, but I cannot afford it. Now, can you afford to pay for the bus fare? Yes. 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 So affordable is that you can pay it or that not necessarily money, right? Affordable is that you can do it. Not also money. Okay. So when something is not affordable to you, it means that it's not convenient. I can afford that. I can afford having problems in my life. You don't pay for problems and any ways you can use it. I can't afford uh, to have uh, problems in my life. You don't need it. What is bus fare? A bus fare is the 40 cents that they want you to pay for the bus now. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, they want to raise it to 40 cents, but we don't talk about politics in this group, right? No. Okay, so... No, please. <laughs> yeah, that's out of the picture. That's another expression, out of the picture. Alrighty, guys, so let's go ahead and practice a little bit of reading. Here, read with me, please. Elena and Harvey are talking about options to improve their digital marketing strategy. Elena and Harvey are talking about options to improve their digital marketing strategy. Digital marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. Strategy. 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 Careful with these guys because I am hearing that some of you are saying like this. S strategy. Here. Be careful with the E. 
Okay, this is very common that we say S strategy because we don't have that phoneme in, in, in Spanish. It's not that used. So we're going to say strategy. 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 Esa E que se suena, no, aquí no es parqueo para que digamos esta E. Así me gusta decirlo. Aquí, aquí no es parqueo para que tengamos esta E aquí. So we're going to say strategy. This. Strategy. 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 Mm -hmm. Strategy. Very right. good. Right. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customers' data, and then we are planning to optimize the content of our website according to their preferences. Let's go. We are trying, we are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customer data. We are then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. According to their preference. Preferences. Preferences. Now, the reason why I ask you to read it completely is there is no period. So when talking, you're not supposed to stop. Let me do it again, and this time with pauses. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy. We are, we are, we are trying, trying to improve, improve our, our marketing, 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 marketing strategy. 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 Rising intonation strategy. because I am not strategy. done. Strategy. 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 By analyzing our customers' data. By, By analyzing our customer data. data, you go down because of the comma, the intonation falls down. I'm going to do it one more time. Pay attention to the, to the ending. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy. Strategy, you go up. By analyzing our customer's data. Go. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customers' data. Data or data, it's either or, no worries. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Almost there. Web page, you go up. Web page, web page, web page, web page, according to their preferences. According, according to their preferences. 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 That's right. So, guys, this is the melody of English. And um, as you saw, there are no pauses. Como pueden ver, no hay pausas. Pero aún así la entonación le da una pausa. Can you tell me? Where is the rising intonation? A strategy. Uh huh. Strategy. Um, and web page. Web page. Uh huh. Data. And web page. And where is the falling intonation? Data. 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 Uh huh. Preferences. Preferences. And preferences. That's right. Now. En español nosotros no hablamos tan plano porque la gente se va a desesperar de escucharnos hablar así. Por eso no hablamos tan plano. In English, it's the same thing, guys. You got to keep a melody. Otherwise, people is going to get annoyed of listening to you. So, aunque no vean pausas, aunque no vean comas, obviamente hay que respirar. Right? You got to breathe in order for you to talk. Para no quedarse sin aire. So, remember, when there's something left to say, cuando todavía no han terminado de dar la idea, you go up. Para dejar de saber a la persona que viene algo más. And when you finish a small part of it, you go down. Now, let me do it one more time and then you give it a try. We are trying to improve our customer strategy by analyzing our customer's data. Can you hear the, can you hear the difference? Yes. Yes. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. You go up and down. I need a volunteer to read it to the group. Me, Roxana. Go ahead, Roxy. Roxana, sorry, we are, sorry, 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 sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> we are trying to improve our marketing strategy 
by analyzing our customers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Nice, I liked it. Nice intonation, great job. Uh, does anybody, does anybody want to give it a try? You want me to get, ah, okay, go. Oh, I almost <laughs> get the chicken out. Go, More. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Okay, nice, I liked it. Great, great, great. So let's continue, guys. Well, that sounds good. Well, well, that, well that sounds, sounds good. good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. I think, I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize, optimize the content in the, 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 the web page. The side needs a makeover. The side needs a makeover. makeover. Guys, where are the falling in? Are there any rising internet? Is there any rising intonation in this one? Yeah. Where? In well. Mm. Correct. Mm. That sounds good. Go, goes down. Good. Uh huh. After good, it goes down. Correct. And then? Designer. Designer, yeah. Uh, let me read it again. I think we should hire a website designer to help us optimize the content on the web page. Web page is down. Uh, yeah, web page exactly. Down. Exactly. We don't have anything in designers because we don't stop. Okay? And then? Design needs a makeover. And make makeover. Makeover, you go down. Correct, my dear fellows. Now, let's do it again. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content on, on the web page. By the way, guys, this is on, not in. In. Mm -hmm. It's on. Always on the web page, on the internet, on WhatsApp, on. Uh, my apologies for the mistake of the book. It is on not in okay. the site needs a makeover volunteer to read this please me who said that okay. go ahead Marcy. um well that sounds good i think we should hire a website web designer to help us optimize the content on the web page the site, the site needs a makeover. Okay, good. The site needs a makeover. Excellent. I liked it. A little bit more of, you know, enthusiasm, but I know that, you know, it goes with your personality, right? <laughs> I cannot change that, but more enthusiasm on this one. One more, guys. Me, Alison. Go ahead, Alison. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content on the web page. The site needs a makeover. Nice, liked it. Excellent, let's continue. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Yes, I already yes, contacted some people who might be able to help. Good, what do we have right here? Where is the rising and falling intonation? Yes. 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 It's down. It's rising. Rising or falling in yes. Rising. 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 And then? I need help. to contact some people who might be able to help to and help them get down. To help. Falling intonation. Correct. There you go. Four. So let's do it one more time. Yes. I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Yes. yes, I already, already contacted contact some people, people, who, people who, who may be able, able to help. help. Who might be able to help. Good. Volunteer that has not participated, please, real quick. 
Thank you. I knew it, buddy. I was looking at you. Go. Yes. I will be contacted some people who might be able to help. Thank you, Celia. Me? Yes, you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, I already contacted some people who may be able to help. Nice, I liked it. Just make sure that you say contacted. Here. Contacted. contacted. Next one. Okay. Contacted. We only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay. Good. What do we have here, guys? Where's the, the okay. rising and falling intonation? The rising in okay. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Strategies. Strategies. What happens with a strategy? Yeah. Get down. Falling. 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 Uh huh. That's right. Falling. So we're gonna have, and I'm gonna send this to WhatsApp group, guys, just for you to see the modifications on it. This is rising intonation. Thank you. And then we got falling intonation. The good thing about it is about falling it is that intonation. once you know it exists. You don't really have to work on it. All you have to do is pay attention and repeat the same way it is. Okay. So what I wanted to do right now is that I need you to practice for no more than three minutes in pairs. I need you to do it over and over again, helping your classmate to get the right pronunciation. So it's going to be three minutes. We come back and then I'm going to have some volunteers to read it completely in front of the whole group. All right. So let's go ahead and accept the invite. I'm gonna see you in three minutes. Go, please. I'm gonna send it to WhatsApp group right now. Hey, Andrea, Karen, can you hear me? Improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our webpage according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content on the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, so you can start. Okay. Start. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by... Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, can we start uh, again? Yeah, now I'm Harvey again. Mm -hmm. Switch, exactly. Yeah. We're already trying to improve our marketing strategy optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content on the web page. The site, the site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Nice, contact it, contact it. Okay, mm -hmm. we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Great, switch role, I think you have one last try. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no, I'm 
we are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing All right, guys, so now that most of us are here, I need uh, two volunteers. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. In the word from Elena that says our direct marketing strategies in the last sentence, mm -hmm. is direct or direct? Either or. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Many people say direct. Some others say direct. I like to say direct. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, my personal um, way of saying it. All right. Okay. So thank, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, JC and Andrea, for volunteering yourself. Go ahead, please. I like when people volunteer themselves. It's <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, JC, I'm going to be Elena. Is that okay? Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customer data. And there we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, preferences. that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I really contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, great. I liked it, guys. As far as the intonation, I think that we can only work in the last one of preferences. You go down. Preferences. preferences. Say with me. Preferences. 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 And then a couple of particular words like contacted. But other than that, I, I actually liked it. I need one more couple, please. Last one. Beatriz and, and couple, go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna start there. Uh, we're trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customer data. And then we're planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content on the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, great. Liked it, liked it, liked it. Very good, very good, very good. So remember guys, this is actually when someone can immediately tell you, or when on the phone, if you don't sound like this, they can tell you, may I talk to an American, please? And believe me, you don't wanna hear anybody telling you that because that's the way they are. So listen, pay attention, and repeat. If they sound like this, then you gotta sound like that, right? Rhythm and intonation, copy it. That's the way we learn Spanish too. So, let's get it ready, guys. Any question about intonation? Rising and falling intonation? I guess that, I guess. The that. falling intonation, uh, it's almost at the end for some sentences. The falling intonation no, is no, pretty no. much when you have finished <laughs> the idea. No, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. so. What do you have so finished? It could be uh, a period, for example. Could be a period, could be a pause, could be a comma, right? Depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you notice, um, let me see. In here, in web page, we have no comma. Yeah. We have no period, but we have a pause. So when you need to breathe, then you go down. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you. Uh, no, this is up. I'm sorry. This is uh, rising intonation. So when you finish, the idea is that you go down. All right. So guys, uh, how does Harvey plan to improve the marketing strategy out of this written material? Analyzing their customer uh, data. Analyzing their customer's data. Okay. And what does Elena suggest to improve the looks on their web page? To hire to a hire web a website. Our designer. Our designer. Okay. What are some disadvantages of digital, digital marketing? Mm. Uh, makeover will be one. Okay. And uh, what is makeover? To do it again. Everything. Like to refresh. More attractive. Yeah. To do it again. Like with to refresh. Broken link. New image. Okay. How often do companies, do you think they change their marketing strategies? Right now? Yeah. A lot. <laughs> yes. Okay. A lot. So one the of the most bounce. like daily but daily changes but complete uh it's in a long time okay so do you think that the need to improve to innovate is a disadvantage of digital marketing mm -hmm. maybe it has the two ways because it's, mm -hmm. it's like you need it right now, but uh -huh. it's kind of tired for the people who make the, the refresh of the page and tired by the customers because a lot of things are changing uh, almost every week. Mm -hmm. Like if you have a promotion one week, the other week isn't that promotion. And maybe you are waiting for that promotion like at the end of the month. And when the customer go, that promotion that is not, uh, not available, available mm -hmm. in that time. So it has the two yeah. ways. It's good, but sometimes it's... I know, I don't know, tire and. Okay, <laughs> no, I got it, I got it. Thank you very much, Roxana. So yes, when the customer goes, the, um, the promotion might not be available. All right, guys, so um, based on this, we're gonna get some new vocabulary that might help us out in order to do it. So here, say with me, please, building vocabulary. Building, building vocabulary. Vo, 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 make it vibrate. Vo, 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 vocabulary. Vo, 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 vocabulary. Vocabulary. Match the terms related to digital marketing to their corresponding meanings. Match, match, match the terms related, related to digital marketing, 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 marketing to their corresponding meanings. Check your answers with a partner. Check your answers with a partner. Correct. So um, here, guys, which one of these? Let's go ahead and read them all. Direct marketing. Direct, marketing. Direct, marketing. Direct marketing. Direct marketing. Direct marketing. Remember, either or. That is like um, either, either. It's up to you. Multi-level marketing. Multi-level Multi marketing. Consumer data. Consumer data. 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 Optimized content. Optimized, Optimized content. content. Sales leads. Sales leads. All right, so we're going to be reading them all. And after that, we're going to try to match the terms to their meaning. The information trail customer leave behind customers. You see, I, I ate an S. The information trail. Customers leave behind as a result of their internet use. The information the information trail customers leave behind as a result of their internet use. Good. Any oh. new vocabulary here? Uh, trail. Yes. Leaves. 
leave behind. Trail. Okay. Trail. Trail. Have you ever seen the story of Hansel and Gretel? Hansel and Gretel. No. <laughs> no, I don't know Did what is that. The couple of uh, the the two the two younger brothers that got lost in the forest or were abandoned by they, their father in the forest, they found a candy house. Oh, the story oh, like yes. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel yeah. and Gretel. So they were actually trying to leave a trail with mm -hmm. bread crops mm -hmm. in order to go back home. That's a trail. Oh. Okay. Right? That's a trail. And uh, lead, mm. does, do you find any relations with leader? Yeah. The leader is the one who leads. Oh. <laughs> who guides, who takes you to a place. Are we clear with these two pieces of vocabulary? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. Let's continue with the next. Making a website more attractive to search engines and users. Making a, Making a website more attractive to search engines and users. Engines with the stress and the E. Engines. 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 Uh -huh. Any new vocabulary there? Engines. Engines. <laughs> engines. A car or another thing. Uh-huh, exactly. An engine is the is the motor. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is the motor. All right. So a search engine as we were mentioning is like a Bing, Google, Yahoo, etc. Next one. It is a system for selling goods or services through a network of distribu of distributors. It is, it is a system, system for selling, for selling goods, 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 Distributors. Distributors. As sounds like a log internet. <laughs> All right. Any new vocabulary for this one? Mm. Mm. No. Selling goods. Goods. What is goods? Selling goods. Anybody? Products. Yeah. Products. Yeah. Products. Products. No. Products. Products, bienes, but something material. Oh. And that's why you have goods. Or services. Mm -hmm. Or services. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Great. Next one. Initiation of, cons of consumer interest into products or services of a business. Initiation of customer interest into products or services of a business. Or a business. Good. New vocabulary there? No. All right. And the last one, the business of selling products or services directly to the public. The business of selling products or services directly to the public. To the public, correct. Okay, so this is what we're going to do, guys. Uh, before we take attendance, you're going to have five minutes. Remember, I do not expect you to do it perfectly because this is new to you, but I want you to try and just by association. Okay, association. You're going to have five minutes to try to get this matched to the correct definition. 26. All right, so go ahead and accept the invite. We're going to be working in groups. 26, 26. And I'm going to see you probably in uh, five minutes. You're going to send it? Yes, I'm going to send it right now. Okay, thank you. Because I want you to, to keep it in the group too. How many people do I have? I got 13 people, so we're going to do 
three to four, three to four people per room. Uh, no, to students. All right, go ahead and accept the invite. See you in five. I'm going to be visiting you. 26. Eric, you still here? Okay, I think he's gonna join soon. All right. Object. Topic. Yes, but we continue with <laughs> right now digital marketing, but okay. I am open my mind. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, uh for the first one, I think that the answer is consumer data. Permission consumer data. Because trail tra 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 is that. Consumer. Yeah, it's what. Consumer data. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Number two, making a website more attractive to search engines and users. I don't know if it's optimized content or. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure what about the information. So I. I think um, the optimized Customer content data. can be the number two. Number two. Let me search. No, the level. Consumer data. No, uh, optimized content. Right. More attractive. Oh, yes. Maybe. Yes, number two. Optimized huh? content. Do you agree? Um, sales leads? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, because the last one, it is uh direct marketing direct marketing yeah <laughs> the business of selling products or service directly to the public direct marketing i guess that we number two making a website more now yeah. What the teacher said that was leads? Uh, leads is like um, that guide. For example, leader is uh, someone that guides you. So a lead is a lead is like uh, it could be like a a clue, but it also could be like um, no sé como. <laughs> Uh, okay. You have a very good idea. To follow. <laughs> mm -hmm. it to is, follow up to someone. It is very common, and these are actually sales, sales lead generator, that someone calls you. For example, hey, this is Alejandro from Inglés Corporativo. I just want to double check if you are interested in learning English. We have a free evaluation for you. Would you like for us to evaluate you? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, we're gonna call you back in five minutes. Then I, okay, this is not a phone, but I am generating a lead, which is a person that is interested then for a sales agent to come and sell, let's say a product, or in this case, English classes, right? So that's a lead generator, is giving the other person a clue. Hey, this person is interested, Come here and close the cell. So yes, you are correct. Okay. All right, see you in the main room. All righty, so we're gonna wait for around 10, 12 seconds for the rest of the people, rest of the people to be back.
Okay, we are all here. So guys, tell me, which one do you think it's number one? Consumer data. Consumer data. Well, I, I guess we have an anonymous decision. Yes, it is. It's the consumer data. Number two? Optimizing content. Okay. Do you all agree? Yes. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. What about number yes. three? Multi-level marketing. Multi-level marketing. Okay. Number four? Sales leads. Number five? Direct, direct marketing. Hey, let me ask you something, guys. Are you marketing experts? No, but I think we are going to graduate no. from this course. <laughs> we <Customer> are experts. <laughs> customers. <laughs> uh -huh, customers. I think I'm going to okay. so study that guy. I am, I am very curious on these guys. Why? Why? The information trail. What is the the word that told you? No, no, that's that one. Why? Information. Maybe information. Customer. And you For paired me it with? Was as a result. Yeah. Data, yeah. So perhaps information and data? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, and this the is... internet use because data is like. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, so like data. <laughs> like data. So these <laughs> like, two words. Computer. When, <laughs> when, when uh -huh. you use a internet to to navigate to surf or, or, be, or navigate when yeah, you yeah, live yeah. behind to to try to cookies, to the, uh, yes. the what website do you visit it? Exactly, so if you're visiting forbidden websites, be careful, because everything can be seen, okay? So guys, we're gonna yeah. pause it, because I need to take attendance, and we're gonna come back to this. So, real quick, you know what to do, cameras on, and uh, please tell me you're here. Here it is. Well, you know what? Someone stole my pen, so I'm going to use the, the mm -hmm. digital thing. Ana Maria Marroquín Rivera? No? Okay. Even though she mentioned, guys, that she, unfortunately, due to work, she's not going to be able to be present, I always have to mention the people. Always. Regardless if they, if they are quick. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón? Here. See you. Javier Rodríguez Guayala Córdoba? No. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. No. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. I see you too. Aldo Sade Castro Pleites. <coughs> Good. Por motivos de auditoría. Aldo Sade Castro Playstays mencionó que no podía por trabajo. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. Thank you. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. Thank you, sir. Hey, you made it. Thank you. Then I got Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. No. Nope. David Orlando Nerio. No. Nope. Oh, I can tell it's Monday. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Present. I see you, girl. Roxana Dometila Ríos de Quiñones. Present. I see you. Juan Carlos García Laínez. Present. I see you. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Merino. Present. I see you too. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Present. I see you. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. Ok, parece que lo, de aquí abajo en la lista sí estaban. Alison Isabel Ayala. Present. I see you too. Celia Carmina Pineda Ábalos. 
Present. See you. Karen Elin Garcia Benitez. Present. Thank you, Karen. Present. Thank you, Karen. And last but not least, Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. He said that his child was sick. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, that's the message for her. Okay, good. Yeah. Por motivos de auditoría, la participante Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz mencionó que su hijo estaba con problemas de salud. Esperemos que todo salga bien. Así que cuando vea la clase, Sarita, espero que todo le haya salido bien con el niño. Okay, guys. So, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and continue. Um, in the second one, real quick. Here. What word was the one that gave you a hint, a clue, that it was the right one? Attractive. Attractive. So attractive, you paired it with what? With mm. optimized? Optimized. optimized. Yeah, yeah, optimized. Oh, okay. What about number three? It is a system for selling goods or services through a network of distributors. Distributor. Or network. So network with multi-level. Yeah. Multi-level market. Yeah. Okay. Initiation of consumer interest into products or services of a business. Leads with uh, initiation. Lead. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. leads with initiation. Anything else? Maybe interest with sales. Interest mm -hmm. with sales, all right. The business of selling products or services directly to the public. Directly. Uh, directly. Directly. <laughs> directly. 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 <laughs> okay. Directly. This is very good. So, guys, you have proven yourselves that in order for you to obviously you can make mistakes. I know that most of us don't work in the digital marketing area, which it is very interesting, though. I've been doing a couple of things about it. And um, you all have the capacity right, to think, to associate. So, this is learning by association, guys. Okay. So the, the moral here, la moraleja, the moral is try, do it. Because you know more than you think you know. So let's go ahead and continue, my dear fellows. And this is what we're going to be doing. Now, what do you think is DDM? DDM, what do you think it is? Direct digital marketing. There you go. <laughs> Why? Because that's the first, the first letter. Digital direct marketing. <laughs> that's right. You got it, guys. So what we're going to do in this case is that you are going to read the article. Okay. And out of this article, you're going to try to see which one is um, goes here from the most significant advantage to the least significant okay so which one of these is more important and then you go down the most important is one the least important is four to you your personal opinion so please read with me rank the advantages of digital marketing strategies from one, the most significant, to four, the least significant. From one, the most significant, to four, the least significant. Okay. From your perspective, what advantage helps online businesses attract more customers? From your perspective, very good. So, what you're going to do, guys, is that you are going to read this for, and as a group, you're going to decide which is the most important number one, the least important, and obviously in between two and three. So, you're going to have one, two, three, four, you're going to have five minutes to do it and you will be working on the same groups. I have a question. Do you all have your PDF open? PDF printed. 
or you have it printed the pdf file yeah yeah, yeah. yeah the pdf yeah, i don't I have know. it open but Digital. i can open okay very good so please go ahead and open it open it i'm gonna send it to you just in case to whatsapp but from tomorrow and on i would be asking you to keep the word the the book with you always open that's gonna be your machete okay okay very good so go ahead and accept the invite machete. you got five minutes to discuss it i'm gonna be visiting you <clears throat> invite sent DM is targeted. Companies send specific communications to a group of potential customers. Number two, DDM is immediate. Since mobile users are almost always within arm's reach or their mobile device, your text or email message will be seen in mere seconds. Number three, DDM allows to measure the success of your campaign, including the open rate of your message and the click-through rate. That is the number of people who follow your link beyond their, up to their inbox, sorry. DDM is cheap compared to yesterday's cost of running a magazine or radio ad. Thanks to the ever-expanding internet, it is cheaper and in some cases free to get your brand's message out there. No. To four, what's um, the most for me? And... For me, the first is uh, DDM is in media. I was thinking of that too. I was thinking about I, that too. I was thinking about that too. I was thinking okay. too. Number one. Maybe the first one. Uh -huh. Okay. The second. The second, I was thinking um, in, the, in the fourth, that is cheap compared to yesterday. Yesterday, it's costs of running a magazine or radio ad. Like one. In like number four. Oh, yes, yes. Number four. Okay. And then number four. Should I read? Yeah, please. Okay. Direct digital marketing is cheap compared to yesterday's cost of running a magazine or radio ID. Ad. Ad. Ad, like advertising? Yeah, correct. Thanks to ever-expanding internet, it is cheaper and in some cases free to get your brand's message out of there probably this one <laughs> could be one or two <laughs> one or two yeah because uh i think that this one could be like very significant to attract uh, businesses customers to attract so, customers uh, it's more more significant yeah one or two yeah. Yeah. Let's put the two then. Okay. Okay. Okay, we finish. All right, perfect. So we're gonna go back to the main one in a few seconds, to the main room. Okay. 
I almost canceled the whole meeting. <laughs> Give me a second, let me. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not supposed to do that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you there. Okay, so the rest of the people is going to come back in a few seconds. Okay, guys, so we are all back, I think. Okay, just the last member is going to join. There she is. Good. So tell me, guys, what are your combinations out of the groups? I want to hear some combinations of this. So, for example, let's say that you said that is number one, that this is, let's pretend you said this is the most significant, then this is the second, this is the, I'm just guessing, right? I'm, I'm not even reading, just to give you an example. So, this is a combination one, three, two, four. What are your combinations, guys, from group number one? We just have the first one. We were discussing about uh, the last one. But we all agreed with at least mm -hmm. um, the three of us, except Eric, mm -hmm. that the first one is the most significant. OK, so from your group, we have one. Yes. What about another group? Well, let me ask the groups. The Allison, that's the one you said. Bea, Juan Carlos, and Marcela, what's yours? Uh, we put uh, in the number one, the the second sentence that is uh, immediate. Okay. And in the first one? That was the fourth, I guess. All right, so you have four, one, and the others? And two, two and three. Two and three. Okay, remember, there's no good or right answer. This is your perspective. All right, then, Beatriz, no, that's you. Andrea Ernesto Roxana, what's your order? We have a mistake because uh, we put two, one, four, and three, and two. Mm -hmm. We have two twos, <laughs> so <laughs> we miss a okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, don't worry. I like that number, two, one, four, two. It's, you know, it's appealing to the eye. And Abner, Celia, um, what's your order? Four, three, two, one. Okay, descendant. Are you sure this was not Donna Lagarduña? Because it looks suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> no worries. It just sounds suspicious. But I, I believe you did it. Is okay, my friends. Is there a way to say a Lagarduña in English? Uh -huh. In English. I have that though. I just have it too. <laughs> uh, randomly, maybe. Uh huh. Randomly. Because a la garduña doesn't really exist. I don't think that's even a word in, in mm -hmm. la rae. You, well, guys, homework. If you have la rae on Facebook, you can ask them, hay algún, uh, I don't know. A way to say a la Hay algún sinónimo de a la garduña en <laughs> vocabulario español? That's a good question. Yeah, but you can say randomly chosen, for example. Randomly chosen. All right, guys, say with me, please. DDM is targeted. DDM, DDM is targeted. targeted. What is the meaning of targeted? Uh, like aim. like aimed. 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 Uh -huh. Aimed. Focused. Focused. Um, Directed. Great. Excellent. Company sends specific communications to a group of potential cu customers. 
companies. Oh, companies uh, that uh, specifications of a group of potential customers. Customers. Okay, so that one has one, two, four, and four. Okay. Next one, DDM is immediate. Yeah. Give the M a little bit longer. Immediate. Immediate. Since mobile users are almost always within arm's reach of their mobile device, your text or email message will be seen in mere seconds. What's near? In context, what do you think is in near? Because you have your phone like, on your arm reach. Now, like, ¿quién like tiene el teléfono? ¿Quién tiene el teléfono más lejos de distancia de abrazo? Todos tienen el teléfono within arm reach, a distancia de brazo, que no tienen yeah. que estirarse. A, un, yeah. a, a few seconds. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you have it close. So whenever you hear your, your cell phone near and it vibrates or it rings, then you immediately take it, unless you're very busy, right? Mm -hmm. Am I right or am I wrong? You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Especially if you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, then you're going to take it quicker. So be careful on that one. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, next one. DDM allows to measure your success of your campaign. DDM allows to measure your campaign. Including the operator of your message. And the click through rate. And the, the click through rate. Click through rate. Right. Right. That is the number of people who follow your link beyond their inbox. That is, that is the number, number of people who follow your link your beyond their inbox. DDM is cheap compared to yesterday's cost of running a magazine or radio ad. Thanks to ever expanding internet, it is cheaper and in some cases free to get your brand's message out there. All right, so we already have the definition of targeted, right? We also have the definition of near, which is like quick or not important. This can also okay. be like not important. Then we also, do you know what is the meaning of measure? Medida. 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 Yeah. Very good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Did you know arm reach before? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What is the difference between this? What do you think is the difference? They are pronounced the same. Add, add. Ad is advertising. Uh, what did you say? Abreviatura. Abbreviation of advertising. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Abbreviation. <laughs> abbreviation. Abbreviation. Uh -huh. abbreviation. Abbreviation. All right. And add with to this. Is. Is. Uh, addition. 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 That's addition. right. Addition. Normally, you're gonna see this right next to the cart when when you shop online. You're gonna have the cart right here. Por cierto, esta es una caseta de super, in case you are wondering, right? You have the cart and you have the add button right next to it, which is an addition. So guys, out of the four, do we, what do you think is important to for your marketing to be immediately, that people can see it immediately. 
for your marketing to reach the, the person that has to reach. Because if you send me a, a, an email about diapers, pañales, then I'm not interested. Get out of here. I mean, I'm not even close. What about to measure who is clicking your things, that people is not ignoring it? Or mm. the fact that it's cheaper than ever or free? So we've got targeted, immediate, that people is actually clicking it, and that is cheap. Which one do you think that is the most uh, significant right now? The, the one that the people is clicking, I think that is to measure the success. Okay. I think it's immediately. Immediate. Immediate. All right, so we got immediate, we got, um, then what was the other one? Measurable, medible. Mm -hmm. I agree with JC. Mm -hmm. I think it's more significant if it is immediate. Okay. What else? Nothing else? Now, this is what we're gonna do right now. And I can, I'm gonna give you like an, ex, um, an example of what you're gonna do. You're gonna go onla online right now and you are going to read information, the evol read about the evolution of digital marketing. JC mentioned at the end that it was very expensive before and you could only do it on the TV, on the radio, or on the newspaper, right? If you didn't have a TV, you're screwed. If you didn't have a radio, you're screwed. If you didn't buy the newspaper, you're screwed. But now everybody has internet. Everybody has mobile device. So I wanted to tell me what do you think is the evolution of digital marketing since it has started until today? Okay, for this, you're gonna have uh, exactly 20 minutes. And these 20 minutes, I want you to make it brief. And how many groups do we have? Give me a second. We have, we have four groups. So you're gonna have uh, five minutes each, right? Between three to five minutes each as far as your presentation. So how long is the presentation gonna take, guys? Three to five minutes. How are you going to research for this information? The evolution of the marketing. Aha, uh -huh. you're going to look for it on the internet. That's right. And what is it about? Evolution of digital marketing. The evolution of marketing. Of course, guys, this is not a university topic about the, uni the evolution of marketing. I wanted to keep it simple, fun, in your own words. I remember... 20 years ago in the 90s, I had to walk to buy the newspaper and I didn't have access to all the advertising, but now I open YouTube and you got it right immediately. I don't know, you know, I, I sounded like a hillbilly. You know what a hillbilly is? Nope. Yeah. Then I would recommend you to Google it uh, because it's not so. All right, so go ahead on that, guys, and try to keep this in mind. Remember, if you are not sending your messages to the right target, it doesn't work. If it takes too long, it doesn't work. If you cannot measure it, it doesn't work. Remember, for something to be successful, you have to measure it, no matter what you're talking about. And I mean, the cost is very important. So guys, you're gonna have uh, 20 minutes. Any questions about the task? No, make sure you keep it interesting and uh, make sure everybody talks while preparing it and also on the presentation. All right, please accept the invite.
looking in on the internet now. What? <laughs> Digital market. <sighs> Guys, try to split the work. The work, remember you have uh, 20 minutes? So, all right guys, let's take five minutes to do some research, five minutes to, um, to talk about it, five minutes to create it, and five minutes to practice, right? Okay. Thank you for the tip. You're welcome. So now. Okay. We need a, a career conversation. It's a presentation. Presentation, yes. So it's uh, only talk about the that we search. Mm -hmm. My recommendation will be the following, guys. Remember, you got 20 minutes, like two or three already passed. Take five minutes to do some research, five minutes to discuss it, five to create it, and five to practice. All right? Any okay. question, let me know. Hey, guys. How's it going? Um, you're working with Roxana, right? Yep. Okay. She's going to be back very soon. Okay. Now, in the meantime, just a friendly reminder. Remember, you got 20 minutes, like two or three already passed. So just dedicate five minutes for research, five or four for discussing, five for preparation, and five for practice. All right? Make it simple. This is not the university. Just try to have fun despite the topic. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Don't, don't, don't cry, please. <laughs> no, I'm not crying. <laughs> All right. See you around. An app or using your, like your cell phone. Yes. Well, well what do you uh, think about? What? Um, uh, Guys, I'm um, <laughs> sorry to interrupt. I'm just, I'm here yeah. just to give you a tip that I, I didn't mention previously. Remember you got like 17 minutes already. Uh, take some time to do some research, some time to discuss it, some time to uh, prepare it, and some time to practice. We're gonna talk about the evolution of, of digital marketing since the 90s, the 90s how that has changed. And uh, try to keep it interesting. I know the topic is a little bit like serious, but try to make it as fun and interesting as you can, okay? Okay. Since the 90s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since the 90s. Well, what I found is that the first um, digital marketing, well, this is what it, was, it says here, that it was through the TV, radio, and, and the print advertisement, but those, those are not, and telephone sales. And in the middle of, of the 90s, uh, they devel developed internet and they started to use Yahoo, Google, and also Amazon and eBay since the 1994. Uh, but I'm reading, I'm reading here, uh, I'm reading here an article that said, um, for example, while the internet has changed everything, it is worth remembering that the old forms of marketing still carry weight. And, carry. Oh, carry. You are here. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to yeah. go. But I'm gonna no, be back. no, no. <laughs> Remember, the more you try and you can identify the things to improve, you'll be better. Don't be afraid of making mistakes, girl. But you scare me. <laughs> oh, sorry, continue. <laughs> so, um, I found on an article that TV, it's like a kind of old form of marketing. But I'm not sure. Um, I'm taking a course about marketing and my teacher mentioned that that uh, TV, radio, it's like a common way of marketing. But if you are talking about most recent, that would be digital marketing. 
and it's most are related with apps, um, computers, internet, cell phones, and so on. Okay, so I think that we can start. Successful marketing once met big budget TV ads, great print. <laughs> no longer an alternate channel of its own that businesses can be thousand jobs. Knowing how to send a tweet to one another, how they generate traffic, optimizing for digital conversion, developing valuable content that your audience will share and magnify. Nurturing leads with email campaigns and paid search. Using social media to protect your online reputation. Hey, Andrea. Yeah? I found a very short and very okay. interesting video about okay. Are you going to share your screen? Yes. Give me a second. Okay. your credit card in all the all websites or social media so I even secure mm -hmm. okay <laughs> okay good. So it's good or we need some else I think so. it's okay okay the, the other advantage right and the actually is uh, the is more easy to to buy or to sell anything you're right it is it's, easier uh, mm -hmm. it easier. is easier yes okay it is easier mm -hmm. easier and great uh, business create mm -hmm. I think so. okay create like a marketing online marketing online or business online I, I think business is biggest so I can say business can I say business yeah it's yeah maybe it's 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 okay. weird, but uh, the business is for a uh, a little store in between uh, little store for example okay or the farmer with the 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 store or mark okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Tell me. We finish. Practice it. We're gonna go back okay. in about three to four more minutes when the time is over. Oh, yeah. Yep. But let's make sure that you practice it. You gotta sound very confident, even though you might have no clue about what you're talking about. Attitude and presence. 
All right, let's rock it. Okay. Uh, okay. Something like a banner. In 1994, another platform was uh, launched. This platform was Yahoo. Uh, with uh, these uh, systems, many people got into uh, these uh, uh, websites and everybody could share many things. And also uh, a lot of things were available for uh, everybody. And another, uh, uh, another thing that was uh, great was the birth of uh, Yahoo, uh, uh, excuse me, was of the birth of Google that was in 1998. And there is a search engine that and nowadays, uh, many people use, including us. So then, one of the wow, Eric. Mm -hmm. Bravo. <laughs> the yeah. is just about what we yeah. have been talking about. <laughs> what are you reading? What, what, oh. Just talking. Or oh, are you reading uh, 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 some information? Uh huh. No, just trying to invent. Oh, it sounds like, like, uh, like a professional marketing man. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will be a, a good sales lead. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, who's going to be next? From Me, uh, if you want. 20 to 10. Okay. You two minutes. You're doing great. See you there. Two, how many minutes? Two, two minutes. Yep. No, it's not enough. Okay. Okay, Alison. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> there hey guys, I'm just here to give you the two minute warning. Okay. All right, we'll be back real soon. Okay. Bye. Okay. Hey guys, I'm just here to give you the two minute warning. And at that time, we're gonna go back. See okay. you then. See you. They offer courses like for marketing. Hey guys, so they. I'm just hi. here to give you the two minute warning and then we go where things happen. Okay. Goodbye. So we already got the idea, I think. Okay. Then I'm gonna be timing your presentation. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, Roxy, Roxana, are you still there? Okay. Now, por motivo de auditoría, Roxana mencionó que tuvo una llamada muy importante, se tuvo que levantar, pero va a regresar en cuanto sea posible. Oh, there you are. I was letting them know about uh, the situation you had with the, you had with the phone call. And Thank you. Ya regresó. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be bringing everybody back right now. Okay. In about 20 seconds, they'll be back. Okay, good. Alrighty, people. So, thank you very much for coming back. And this is the place where things happen. Now, before that, I'm just gonna take attendance one more time, but I'm gonna take it in about a minute. So, do you think 20 minutes were enough in order for you to prepare this material? No. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Okay, do you think you, you are going to be able to do a great job with those 20 minutes? We hope. I will do our best shot. Okay, I know you will. So guys, remember, sometimes 
You gotta do magic with the things that are given to you, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. I always say, this, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do it. Keep it in mind. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do it. All right, so attendance part two. Where are you, attendance? Here you are. Okay, so let's go with Ana Maria Mazuquín Rivera. No. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. No. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Still not here. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Not able to make it. Working. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Not here. David Orlando Nerio. Not here. And Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. <laughs> Not here. Okay, so guys, we have exactly 15 minutes in order for us to finish. That's going to be a five minute presentation each. First group, which consists of uh, Alison, Eric, yes. Karen, Morena. So, guys, like at school, you're going to be able to ask questions, right? The listeners will be able to ask questions again. Not to kill, okay. Don't shoot to kill. Just <laughs> to have a little, a little bit of an answer from them. Go for it, guys. Show us what you practice. Uh, Karen, can you can you uh, share the screen? Oh my God! <laughs> now we will try to okay. describe. Um... Good evening, guys. This is our presentation. Good evening, thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, good evening guys. This is our presentation. Uh, we did a, we we do a teamwork and we do some research. So we're gonna talk about the uh, how was the marketing before uh, around nineteen nineties. So we can mention that in 1990 to 2000, we have at least uh, three or four milestones. So this, this, this was because in the 1990 was the first time that somebody else talked about marketing. Before, before, this decade, before this decade, nobody talked about digital marketing. So if you want to know something about marketing, you have to show on, you have to watch on TV, listen on the radio, or buy some uh, newspaper or magazine. But after 1990, everybody, well, at least uh, a few more people have, a, have a access, access to digital marketing, access, access. In 1993, what we could say that was the first uh, time that somebody could uh, publish or post something on the web was a click banner advertising. In 1994, 94, Yahoo was launched. This is, this is a plat, uh, platform. Three minutes. Uh, nowadays, uh, everybody, know, everybody knows. In, in 1998, uh, even Google was born. Okay. Uh, from, next. From 2000 to 2010, we have the fighting span, the inbound marketing, social media, and Google Analytics. Within this period of time, we have, for example, that were created the smaller search engines. Mm, like engines okay, well, engines sorry and 2001 we have the first mobile marketing campaign released by universal music and uh, we also have the launch launch launches of gmail and facebook in 2004 two minutes and we also have the launch of YouTube in 2005 that can help us to, um, that can teach us some things that we want to learn. And we have also the launch in 2009 of Google Instant for real-time search engine results. That's where you get the instant results when you look for something in the search bar. 
And finally, in 2010, we have the launch of WhatsApp. That is a tool that helps us to communicate and sell sometimes. Thank you. Next. Got it. Cutting. Cutting. One minute. So in 2010 to 2020, email marketing was uh, has a huge uh, was a huge with social media, visual content, and marketing e-commerce. So that was great. Nowadays we have a, a new area with digital marketing. Now you can close. Uh, and the last part, uh, we have. Um, a lot of social medias uh, like Twitter, like um, WhatsApp and Instagram. There are some of um, application uh, that uh, they have um, another, um, a lot of uh, marketing um, for the last of years. Okay. Maybe they have they have um they they are changing in, in the in the time. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Hey guys, round of applause, please. Your time's up. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Any questions for this group? No, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. So then let's go with group number two, which is. Beatriz, Juan Carlos, Marcela. After them, Andrea, Ernesto, and Roxana. And last but not least, Abner, Celia, and Gladys. Okay? Bea, JC, Marcela, you got four minutes. Go. Okay. Uh, we talk about uh, advertising of 90. I remember in the 90, I, I don't know how the internet uh, the yeah. advertising is only only seeing the newspaper, in the TVs, in the movie theater, for example, and the the radio, the radio only the radio, and many many store to put flyers uh, outside the, the the store on the pole, for example, in the wall, the the many kind of flyer to to advertising the all film the 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 product when you need to buy and the in the TV for example in the in the night is at the the most cost uh, uh, advertising for the audience is more in the in the night when they play uh, movies and the TV. Uh, I remember in the, in, the, in the car, for example, in the town to, to play music and play the advertising, the people to say, uh, La Nueva minutes. Milagrosa está con ustedes. <laughs> okay. Uh, continue, Marcela, please. Okay, so now I'm talking about uh, the advertising. Um, actually, um, advertising now is easier and in the 90s because of the social media, uh, you can find, uh, you can find advertising everywhere. Like you're in a website and the advertising just pop up or in social media on your feed, even if you're not following or if you don't have that company on your contacts, you can see the things, the products that they are um, like serving, I guess. And Offering. also, often, yes. Also, these um, influencers makes easier to companies to advertise because a lot of people follow them and they just have to wear, eat, or shop something and to all the people, all the people to, to do the same and people do, you know. And also, um, lately, because of recommendations, it's easier and free 
like get out your taste because I don't know with these entrepreneurships um, I can um, buy, buy something from another person and I post on my social media that I ate that and that was fantastic and I told my followers to do the same and that recommendation can um, go from one people one person to another and that way um, these entrepreneurs can get advertised for free. Yeah, that's word of mouth. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Okay. So, one minute. And I talk about advantage and disadvantage from 90s and actuality. An advantage that I saw in 90s is um, you can buy, you could buy mm -hmm. in your own town and you can go, you could go to the street and look at the advertising in the street. So it's easier and help to the help to the economy in your country or in your own, time, own town. Then a disadvantage that I see in the 90s is uh, the communication was only in the, con in the contact phone and you need a guide for talk with some, someone. And um, the advertising is only in the guide or in the radio. So you only contact with the phone, with phone numbers. Okay, over the phone. Over the phone. So in the actuality, an advantage that- Nowadays. Nowadays, okay. Nowadays. Nowadays, an advantage is you can contact with all technology you want. You can uh, use emails, websites, um, mobile apps, and all about that and other okay. is with, with that one sorry to stop now but at least that's good i mean you didn't stop talking that's fantastic <laughs> so guys thank you very much round of applause for that group any questions to that group no no right. just a recommendation guys and this is for the whole group right um we gotta work with prepositions like for example at night on TV, on the radio, right? That they all go that way on the internet. And uh, also for, remember that for is gonna be followed by ING because it is a preposition too. So for coming, for calling, for playing, for selling, etc. All right, great job, I liked it. The next one, going to be Andrea, Ernesto, and Roxana. Rocket. So the concept of marketing has been, has changed over time and it still uh, continues to change to this day. So we found out that you can classify mar marketing by eras or dates. And it started with a simple trade era and and it was when trading resources was like the main objective of the marketing. Then with the industrial revolution, with the beginning of the industrial revolution around the world, uh, it becomes the main object, objective, uh, becomes the mass production uh, of marketing. And then uh, it, start, it started the sales area and it was about competition. Uh, in our contemporary days, uh, we know that uh, it was like in, probably in the 90s or in the 80s, uh, like the relationship area in which um, the marketing was based on the trust and loyalty of the cons consumer. And finally, the social marketing area uh, that is mostly through internet and social media and Ernesto is going to talk about a little bit more about it. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Great. All right, I'm going to share my screen and I would like to share you a very funny image that I found about the evolution of digital marketing. Uh, can you see my screen now? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. This is the, the, the image that I found related to the evolution of marketing. In the first man, we can find or we can see the stakeholder salesman. That's how everything begins. A person who walks through the country or through the little town and with their product and start to 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 sell the product. Then comes the TV and men equity characters. We are talking about the when the appears the rights about the, the equity between women and men. Also, we have then the authenticity how girls. They are talking about the products that are made by the by the people that I, how how can I say this teacher? Maybe the people that real make the product uh, like artesanos. How do you say artesanos? Um, craftsman. Um, craft. Craftman. And at the end, That's there is the, the woman that says consumer advocates. Uh, that means that in nowadays, we as consumers, we share our opinions with other people about marketing. So the companies sometimes doesn't need to to um, to create a lot of marketing because it is by it is a sell by the people like uh, de una persona a otra from one so, person to another word of mouth one person to another yeah like just for a recommendation from another people and one also minute. I would like to talk about uh, digital marketing in the digital marketing I have here a little bit a little short video and this is like the parts of a digital marketing specialist. So you can see that digital marketing is only to create blows, create a funny image and then share it in the <laughs> media. But it is not social marketing specialist has to know or have to know about a lot of things. And these things are maybe email marketing, web analytics, social media marketing, PPC conversation optimis conversion optimization and that's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. Okay. For example, I here I, I here have um, in this case I'm gonna have to stop you. It's not my intention to stop you. You guys did great. Like I said, guys, one at the beginning I, I saw you very skeptical about the topic about the topic like digital marketing what is that or I'm, I don't know anything about it but look at the end you just don't stop talking and that's good so thank you very much <laughs> remember guys that is uh, it's uh, better for you to try to improve your third person pay attention when talking about he she it in order for you to modify it and yes I know that we it is 1002 but I still I'm gonna give you like two or three minutes remember that sometimes the video shortens right and I don't want to ask you to come back tomorrow just for us to to cover two minutes. So we still have a couple of more minutes for the last one. Um, Abner, Celia, and Gladys. Me? Oh, and you me? too. Andrew, Rosanna. Oh, and Roxana. Okay. I was in that group. <laughs> yeah, but but they didn't let you talk. So that was. Uh, I'm Andrea and Ernesto. Mm -hmm. What happened? Ah. No, sorry. sorry that can join in the group. Nah, don't worry. Sorry. Like the meme, right? The sad face, but in the inside, smiling. Yeah. <laughs> ah, got it. All right, guys. So Abner, Celia, and Gladys, you got three minutes. One minute each. Let's rock it. Go. Okay. So we are going to be brief. Uh, if we are talking about marketing, digital marketing, we are talking about internet. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can say that on 80s, um, digital marketing hadn't <clears throat> emerged. Because on that years we were like, um, I mean, people, because ni siquiera había nacido. People weren't even uh, born. <laughs> weren't even born. People um, uh, in that time, they uh, saw more traditional marketing like radio, uh, TV ads, newspaper. So maybe we can say that in that time, uh, digital marketing hadn't emerged <clears throat> and it starts when social media comes up. Um, but at the beginning, social media were not made with that purpose to sell something. Um, social media were made, um, were, or had made, in that case, 
um, with a purpose to communicate instead instead of selling. Two so it's going to continue up now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. okay, in the decade of two thousand, uh, we think that that this was the decade of the social media because, for example, Facebook was born in 2004 and Twitter in 2006. Uh, throughout the, for example, throughout the Facebook, the digital marketing started to change uh, because uh, modified the relationship uh, between customer and, and sellers uh, due to, due to Decker, this decker uh, changed the habit of the customer. Uh, maybe on the other hand, uh, the people start to use more the internet than the, the traditional uh, media, for example, okay. TV. Radio. One minute. Okay, continue, please. Okay, um, with the companies that specialized in technology like uh, smartphones and tablets, and then come. Internet issues. Yeah. So, okay. I had the opportunity to make their marketing. Uh, uh, every company has their own social they make their digital marketing through these applications and uh, the result of all this is immediacy and the price okay i already finished hello <laughs> Okay, okay. So uh, Gladys, we heard like three quarters or or, <laughs> or half of what you said, but I, I heard you talking super fast. You know, saying and uh, giving a lot of information, and that's good. We were not able to hear you completely because of the internet, but uh, I cannot deny the effort and the willingness uh, of of participating. So, guys, thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> remember, I'm not talking about anybody in a specific. Keep the singulars and plurals in mind, all right? If you say they, make sure that the verb goes along. If you use he, make sure that it's third person. As far as pronunciation, I would recommend you every single day to play, pause, repeat, sing, portions of movies, audio books, whatever it is. It is up to you to have more vocabulary and to improve your pronunciation. Mirror, play, pause, repeat, play, pause, repeat. Thank you very much, guys. On behalf of Inglés Corporativo, this is Alejandro Narbona. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. See you. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye.